Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Yee Mr. Easy and welcome to a new video for A level for the mentioned today. We have 2.3 for modulus and argument form of complex numbers for the rules and examples video. And we'll get started with modulus argument form but before you into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll get started with modulus argument form. So here's a quick note. You can write any complex numbers in terms of their modulus and argument, and hence it's called the modulus argument form. So for a complex number z with the mo with modulus like uh, the symbol right here equals r, the radius, and argument r z equals theta, the modulus argument form of z is z equals r cos theta plus i sin theta. And this is how we derive it. So from the right angle triangle on the right here, we made uh, like we made using the complex number z. You can see that x equals r cos theta. So here, this x right here is r cos theta because cos is adjacent, uh, like cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And adjacent here is x and hypotenuse is r. And x equals r cos theta and y equals r sin theta. Therefore, we can write z equals x plus i y as r cos theta plus i r sin theta. And if we were to factorize the r out, you will get r times cos theta plus i sin theta. And this formula works for any for a complex number in any quadrant of the argon diagram. But you just have to make sure that you find the right argument. And the argument of the um, of this modulus argument form is theta, and it is given in the range of minus pi is less than theta is less than or equal to pi, and it is measured in the anti-clockwise direction from the positive real axis. And here we have an example for modulus argument form. So express z equals minus uh, root 3 plus i in the form of r times cos theta plus i sin theta, where theta is minus pi, minus less, than, less, than pi uh, less than theta, less than or equal to pi. So we first have to find what the modulus is. So the modulus is the, this symbol right here. The modulus of z equals the modulus of minus root 3 plus i, which is equal to the root of minus 3 squared plus 1 squared, or in this case it should be minus 3, but it's the same thing because we will, just, we will square it so it will get rid of the negative. So it will be this. Therefore it will be the root of minus 3 squared will be 3, and 1 squared will be 1, which therefore is minus 4, and then therefore the modulus is 2. And I'm just checking with my calculator, so root 3 squared plus 1 squared, the root of it will be 2. Yeah. And you can see that you have to find which quadrant the complex number is in. So we know that it's minus, three, uh, minus root 3 plus i. That means it'll be around here, minus root 3 plus i. That means it's in the second quadrant. And the argument in the second quadrant will be pi minus alpha, right here, where this is angle alpha. This right here. So therefore, it will be pi minus tan inverse of... We know that this right here is root 3 and this is 1. That means it will be 1 over root 3. So 1 over root 3. Or a more simple way to find out what the argument is or the angle is you do the tan inverse of the y component, which is 1 in this case, 1, over the, uh, the x component, which is minus root 3. But we just take the modulus of it, which is root 3. So it's 1 over root, uh, root 3. Oops, run over root 3. And this will get us an answer. Let me just put in my calculator. And make sure that we have the angle unit in radians. So tan inverse 1 over root 3, or cos, arc, sorry, arc tan, is equal to 1 over 6 pi. Therefore, it would be pi minus 1 over 6 pi, which gets us 5 over 6 pi, right? So we can now assemble the whole modulus argument form. So therefore, z is equal to r, r in this case is 2, right? So 2 brackets, or let me just use a new color. So we know that z equals r is 2 brackets cos theta. Theta is 5 over 6 pi plus i sine 5 over 6 pi. And that's the final answer. And then we have combining moduli or modulus, the plural form, and arguments. And we can use the following rules to multiply complex numbers quickly when, we are, when they are given in their modulus argument form. 
So for any two complex numbers Z1 and Z2, the, um, the product of their modulus of moduli, like the modulus of Z1 and Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 times by the modulus of Z2. And similarly for argument, the argument of Z1 Z2 is equal to the argument of Z1 plus the argument of Z2. So basically the note is that you multiply the moduli and you add the argument. And for any two complex numbers Z1 and Z2, if we were to divide them, as, as opposed to um, multiplying them, if we were to divide them, the modulus of Z1 over Z2 will be equal to the modulus of Z1 over the modulus of Z2. And similarly for argument, argument of Z1 over Z2 is equal to the argument of Z1 minus the argument of Z2. And the argument rules are basically similar to the logarithm rules. And note is that you divide the moduli and subtract the arguments. And here we have an example for combining complex numbers. Find Z1, Z2. So we know that from just now, Z1, let me zoom in. Z1, Z2 equals the modulus of Z1 times by the modulus of Z2, right? And the modulus of Z1 is 3. And the modulus of Z2 is 4. Because we can see here, 3 and 4, right? And we'll set this as Z2. I fold the right Z2. But here is Z2 equals this right here. So therefore, the modulus of Z1 Z2 is equal to 3 times 4, which is 12. Right, so, and find the argument of Z1 Z2. So we know that argument of Z1 Z2 is equal to the argument of Z1 plus the argument of, sorry, oops is equal to plus the argument of Z2. And the argument of Z1 is 5 pi over 12. And the argument of Z2 is pi over 12, right? Of course, we have 5 pi over 12 and pi over 12. This will get us 6 pi over 12, which is equal to pi over 2. And we just use a new color so that we can differentiate between the, the answers and the working. So this will be pi over 2, and that's the answer. And therefore, lastly, write Z1, Z2 in the form of R cos theta plus I sin theta. So we know that Z1, Z2, oops, Z1, Z2, R. R is basically the modulus, which is modulus of Z1, Z2, which we found it to be 12 from here. So it will be 12 right here. And cos theta is the argument, and we found an argument just now, which is pi over 2. So this will be pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. Like so, right? And I'm just close the bracket. And that's the answer for the modulus argument form. And here we have write z1, z2 in the form of x plus i, y. So it might look complicated at first, but, uh, but let's just rewrite um, the z1, z2 in the modulus argument form first. So z1, z2 equals, as mentioned just now, 2 cos pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. What we can do here is that we can basically just um, um, multiply the 2 by both terms, so expand the bracket. So 2 cos pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. And we're almost there because as you can see, the x value will be this term right here because it's independent of i or there's no i or the imaginary unit. Whereas this y right here has an i, so it's basically this term right here. Therefore, we can evaluate what 2 cos pi over 2 is. And pi, uh, cos pi over 2 is one of the trig ratios, and it's equal to 0. So 2 times 0 will be equal to 0. So there's no real part. F however, for sine, sine pi over 2 will be 1. Therefore, it will be 1 times i, which is like 1i which therefore gives us just i, and that's the final answer. So one thing to note is that the modulus argument form has to be this equation right here. And that is to say it must have a plus and theta, theta, and i. So if we were to have an, a, a question that gives you the modulus argument form in terms of r cos theta plus, sorry, minus i sine theta, we actually have to convert this minus right here to a plus. And the way that we can do this is that, let me just draw it down here. 
So let me just rewrite. If we were given r cos theta minus i sine theta, what we can do is that we know that the trig identity of sine minus theta equals minus sine theta, right? We can bring this negative back to the sine inside the bracket. So this will be r cos minus theta plus i sine minus theta. And notice how what is in the bracket must be the same. So if the negative were to be brought into the bracket to become minus theta on the sine, we have to also do the same to the cos. And one interesting thing to note is that cos is an even function. That is to say cos minus theta equals cos theta. But sine is an odd function. So sine minus theta equals minus sine theta. And that's one important thing to note. And those are the final answers. And that's it for this short video for the rules and examples video for 2.3 modules in argument form for complex numbers. And I hope you will find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and bring the notification out to notice on any future videos. And if you have any questions or comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemisteasy.com And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be 2.3 for more just argument form for the questions video which will be fun and interesting as it is a new concept to be learned. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.